Yeah, yeah. Shout out everybody in the chat. Y'all know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Step on that goddamn like button. Subscribe if you new over here. You know what time you know what to do. Hey, look, <clears throat> real quick, we, we ain't gonna be here. We ain't gonna be here long tonight, goddammit. We're gonna get in, we gonna get out. Shout out everybody pulling up. Step on that like button, man. Hey, right, real quick, we running, we running 3K down, goddammit. We running that bitch down. If you new over here, subscribe. Turn your notification on. This is a movement right here. Make no mistake about that shit. See, they 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 made a mistake thinking I wouldn't come in. You feel what I'm saying? They made a mistake thinking I wouldn't go hit their ass hard. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hey, look, real quick, shout out my guy, Mike Williams. Say y'all season all already done. So no, it don't hurt. Okay, nigga, stay right there. Shout out that nigga there, Mike, Mike Williams. Shout out Poppy Dangerfield, my guy Clarence Anderson. Shout out Josh Barnes, Trevor Cunningham. What's up with you, my G? Say yo, yo. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Pete Phillips. Panther Prophet 94, Riz B. Pro, uh, provide not Q. What's hood? Herb Gotti to die. What's popping with you, my G? Shout out my guy, Mike Mosley, Wise Citizen, Izar, Panther Prime Podcast, Nathan, what's good? Shout out, shout out who that right there. Let me see. Cameron, uh, Cameron Barbosa. Shout out Joseph. Shout out Venom Ted. Shout out Dunn. God damn it, Poppy Dangerfield. Jo uh, Anthony Brown vibing with the Johnsons. Oh, they in this bit. Shout out, oh, oh, they in this bit. Shout out the same fans in it, motherfucker. I see y'all. Shout out my guy, Flow Nation 93, Miss Cool. Shout out Hank. Got me landing in both accounts. Shout out Rashad, Rashad Ali, Omar Tillman, King Tough. Got them in big tight. What's poppin'? We in here. Shout out my guy, Charlie. My guy, Charlie, oh, he, hey, hey, he's certified. He, he hit every time. Shout out my guy, Charlie, with this super chat. Lighting the goddamn screen up already. What he said? Steve Smith still talking about how he rich. I know. I know. Hey, don't pay that nigga no attention. Shout out that nigga there, Steve Smith. Shout out Block G. Shout out Trill One. What's hood? Flow Nation 93. Flow Nation 93 say we need to get the 500. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Facts. Block G say what's popping up. You already know, man. I'm in here. I'm about to twist this green thing up. I feel like talking for a second. And Hank say, no, I'm actually Hank not landing. It's his own. What? Okay, then. Shout out, pocket full of dinero. What up? De Niro, talk to me, my G. Shout out SC Space. Shout out Jeremy McKinley. Yeah, pull up on me, man. Stuff on that goddamn like. Let them know we live. Let them know we in this bit. Get the great thing twisted up real quick. We're going to get it to the content. I feel like smoking one. You know what I mean? What I feel like doing. Shout out Jay Wright. Shout out Weston H. We, hey, what's hey hey Weston? What's popping? You already know my G. Say what up, bro? I'm in it, bitch, man. I'm in it, bitch. I told y'all I ain't taking my foot off the gas. Winning season, losing season, no fucking matter to me. Hey, quite frankly, these niggas better hope we don't start winning. They they really ain't gonna like me. Shout out Doug. Shout out Duck Duck Goose. I see you, my G. Where the fuck you been at? Shout out Daisy in the chat. Say go Chiefs. He she say we are another Super Bowl. You ready? Okay. Okay. Shout out Daisy and the Chiefs. And yeah, we ain't got y'all on the menu this year. We ain't even got y'all lined up, but it's all right. Hey, if anything, Miami might knock the fucking Chiefs off. Y'all strong, but mind you, Travis Kelsey ass has been ailing injuries since the season started. 
That that nigga might not make it the whole goddamn week. Say the whole seventeen week. No, no, no. Uh, Daisy Chief fan. Kelsey go down. That's a wrap. I mean, I mean, Mahomes is who he is, but goddamn it, no Kelsey. It's a little harder for him, especially in the playoffs. I mean, he's he's a great. He's great. Patrick Mahomes is in fact great. That Daisy say Miami trash. Okay, then, but the fact is they in the AFC. Fact is, whatever the road to the Super Bowl may go through y'all or them. So, I mean, we can talk how we want, but regardless of what you say, the fucking Dolphins putting up points. They running it up. Shit, I mean, we punched them in both of their motherfucking eyes, and all they did was knock us the fuck out. You feel me? So, shout out Dead Rabbit in the chat. I see you. I see you. Oh, we in this motherfucker, man. Pull up. Step on the like button. Share the live. Let them know we in here. Shout out all the, all the other fans in the chat. They, they fucking with me. They fucking with us over here. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure you tell everybody that y'all know there is not another podcast like this one. Shit. It can't be. Trying to tell you right now. And, and shout out my nigga Big Cat. Still duck in that ass whooping when it come to that man. I don't know what it is with Big Cat. Maybe. I don't know. He might think I'm going to talk shit. But you know what? I'm going to play Big Cat when we in Charlotte in two weeks. I'm bring the Xbox with me. You know what I mean? I'm bringing it with me. I play that nigga. I play that nigga in person. We'll roll up a couple green things. Sit back, beat the dog shit out of Big Cat. You feel? That's how I'm going to do him. Yeah, he ain't going to be able to run from me in about two weeks. It makes it because I got something Big Cat want, and he going to come get it. Or beat his ass in that game. Shout out Big Cat. Shout out Supreme Sire 777. Shout out my guy. Shout out my guy. We in here. Y'all pull up. We finna get into the content. About done. About done twisting the green thing. That's all I'm into right now. I'm, I'm, I'm watching y'all pull up. Step on that like button. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hey, you see the title. God damn it. Thumbnail going up right away. Jeremy Chin out for six weeks. Does this hurt the Carolina Panthers? This is a question in the chat. If you didn't know Jeremy was out, you know now. And my question is, does this hurt the Carolina Panthers? This is a yes or no question in the chat. Go. Shout out Lucky Panther in the chat. I see you. Shout out Bob. You say, fuck it, y'all done over anyway. Shout out Hank. See, that's the haters. Them the haters. Hank the hater. Hank a hater. You feel me? Shout out Hank the hater. Because Hank hating. Motherfuckers hollering, we done. That this and that, that and the third. Okay, then. Shout out Miss Cool. She say, yes, this hurts. You got damn right it hurt. God damn right this hurts us. And I'm going to tell you why. Shit, think I ain't. Y'all think I be playing, man. I swear I think y'all think I be playing. I'm going to tell you why this shit hurt us. Shout out for, for the Port City. God damn. Shout out for the Port City. Pull up. God damn it. Subscribe if you new over here. Make sure you do that. This is, in fact, a movement over here at Unc underscore 2020. If you're not subscribed, God damn it, you late. God damn it, you slow. Turn your notification on so you don't miss shit I drop, man. Make sure you do that. Now, let's get to it. Jeremy Chan out for six weeks. Does this hurt the Carolina Panthers? You bet your fucking sweet ass it does. First off, first off, I'm going to say this. I've been saying it. I've said it on multiple fucking occasions. Jeremy Chan is the Carolina Panthers' best tackler. On the, on the entire defensive side of the ball. 
Let me say that again. Let me say that again. Illmatic, what up, nigga? Shout out Mike Wynn. Shout out A Mellow Free. What up, Mellow? Jeremy Chin is our best tackler on the entire side of the fucking defense. On, on the entire side of the ball, the defensive side of the ball, Jeremy Chin is our best tackle. I asked y'all in the chat, does this hurt us? No, no, King Reese. Shout out King Reese. He say, he say Luvu is our best tackler. I don't know. Chin is officially, yeah, yeah, fact flow nation. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. He say, he say Chin officially injury pro. We're going to get there, y'all. Hey, look. Remember last year, Chin missed six weeks. Right around this time. Yep. So fuck was. Chin went out. He went out last year for six fucking weeks, right about this time. Now did I think about it. Shout out my guy. Say, 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 Jeremy Chin is officially injury prone. Now we're we gonna stay there, but we're gonna move on. But I say he's our best tackler on the defense. Why does this hurt us? It's not no fucking secret. The Carolina Panthers are, in fact, a 0-6 ball team, the only winless team still remaining in the NFL. This is us. We are them, goddammit. The Carolina Panthers, the winless Carolina Panthers. I, I, I'm, I'm so sick of hearing motherfuckers outside of Outside of just, you know, in my everyday life, nigga, y'all ain't going to get a fucking win. Yeah, you know, I, I don't I don't got time for that shit. Tired of, I'm tired of defending that. But point is, Jeremy Chin being out for six weeks hurts us bad, especially on the back end. Now, my, Ejiro Evero put Jeremy Chin in a new position, hybrid position, the big nickel. Again, multiple people, PFF, have already came out with the exact snap count, snap count of uh, Jeremy Chen, which was, I think, like 20-some percent of the entire snaps, which means, now, which means, on the other hand, that, you know, if, if Ejiro changes the scheme a little or tweaks the scheme a little, we may not miss Jeremy Chen that bad. But, I, I I worry. I worry for the simple fact Jeremy Chin is a big help in the run support. What's a little run support we have? He he contributes to that. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't say, oh, Brian Burns, that's what we got Burns for. Nigga, stop it. Burns ain't no fucking threat when it comes to run potato or run stoppage. He's not. I mean, if 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 anything, I gotta go YGM, YGM, and 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 maybe Justin Houston of late has been has been contributing more to the run stoppage. But still, in all, Jeremy Chin out for six weeks, it hurts us for multiple reasons. One being he's our best tackler. Two being the run support. I, I don't I don't see this this Carolina Panther team. Is, I mean, even with this nigga on the field the first six weeks, the run the run defense ranks you know damn near at the bottom of the league, guys. So now you're telling me without Jeremy Chin, we can expect this to be better or 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 somewhat the same? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now I mean you know. I don't even know who's taking this place, guys. I honestly don't. I mean, at the big nickel position, that means you're going to have to play a linebacker there now. So maybe maybe this helps us in the run support. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people, I mean, I'm listening to so much shit over the last couple of days. You know, Thomas Brown giving over the play calling. And will he, will he, will he, will Thomas Brown play calling? Help Bryce see more success, the dumb shit. But in reality, the question should be, what the fuck is he gyro gonna do? Because most of his pieces, if not 
a lot of his starting pieces are, you know, down, out, whatever the case may be. Look how long he's gyro starting the season has been without star players on his defense. All six weeks, guys. All six weeks. If if not at one position, the other. If not the other position, multiple positions, he's been missing starters on his defense. Shout out Ejiro. See, the real question is what will what will his defense look like? Because because to be honest, to be quite frank with y'all. The game against Miami, the Carolina Panthers punched him in a fucking face twice. 14 nothing. The defense didn't compliment this offense last week. Then the offense started to fizzle out like one of them little cheap ass food line fireworks you buy around the 4th of July. Try it fizzled, it sizzled out. Oh, it was oh, some old dud shit. You feel? Me? But I look at I look at what we're facing. I look at what we're facing with Jeremy Chin being out for six weeks. And like I said, I don't I don't know who his replacement is. I honestly don't. I don't know what his replacement will offer us. I honestly don't. Shit, man, I'm being honest. I I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't, I'm not gonna do that shit. The motherfucker talking about here, yeah, CJ Stroud, we go beat the Houston Texans. Now you telling me, you telling me no Jeremy Chin makes our chances better to beat CJ? And I, man, listen, I, I was watching a press conference from that little nigga just, was it today or yesterday? That little nigga serious, man. Bryce don't talk like that. Bryce don't talk like CJ Stroud do at the podium. CJ serious. He know that's his. He know that's his team. Told y'all at Bryce's last press conference after the Miami game. I swear Bryce said everything, but he won't out of Carolina. The way he was talking, shit, like like none of this shit is his fault, man. Okay, but like I say. No Jeremy Chin. You bet your sweet ass this hurt the Carolina Panthers, man. Shout out my guy, BJ. Where you been at, man? Like, BJ, I missed you for the watch party, nigga. Shout out, BJ. Say no depth. Fitter is trash. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't keep looking past Scott Fitter, man. Well, I seen some. I, hey, look. I'm... The Jeremy Chin shit, we're going to move on from because I had a couple things come across my goddamn desk today. Second, all, another point I want to talk about is, is the Carolina Panthers being offered good picks for Adam Thielen, guys. Have, have anybody in the chat heard or seen this yet? Because I, I really don't like being the only one with this news. That's why I like to spread it around. The Carolina Panthers, again, has been offered good picks from what I'm hearing for Adam Thielen, guys. Like right now, before the deadline. What say y'all to that? What? Because, you know, when I saw this, this was very fucking interesting, man. Very fucking interesting that, 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 that it's, there's teams out here right now willing to trade for this version of Adam Thielen. What would y'all say to that? Somebody said, what the fuck? Joseph said, take it. Hank said, y'all still trash. He, uh, uh, Brandon said, give me that. Shout out, shout out everybody across the league wanting Adam Thielen, guys. Hey, look, no bullshit. Come across my desk just today, guys. The Carolina Panthers have been offered picks now, or I don't, I don't know exactly what, but what I'm hearing, good pick, a good pick or two for Adam Thielen before the deadline. There's, there's a team or two out here wanting that motherfucker right now. Would you, now, now I want to stay right there for a second. Can we put it past Adam Thielen requesting the trade? 
Can we put it past Adam Thielen agent saying, hey, man, I, I might be able to wiggle you somewhere to a contending team, man, I, right now. What say y'all? If, if it was more like a third round for, for Adam, you feel me? Second, late second, early third for Thielen. Would you squeeze the fucking trigger? Panther Prime say, don't do it, goddamn. He, hey, hey, Bob say, say, goddamn it, Chanote can't replace him. I doubt it. Adam Thielen is a 10 catch guy, goddamn it. Fuck y'all talking about. At, what, remember when we was talking about that proverbial 10 catch guy? Adam Thielen. Hey, yeah, there you go. That, that's him right there. That, that's a 10 catch guy. Shit. 10 catch guy want of a premium pick. And Adam Thielen is in fact a fucking 10 catch guy this season. So motherfucking 10 catch wide receiver right now. I beg one of you niggas to, to argue with me right now. I beg one of y'all to argue. Shit. Landon say Unc Daisy wants him. Who is that? Daisy's a Chief fan. Oh, hell no. Nah. You ain't hell no. Nah. You give it. You sit out of feeling to the Chiefs. They damn sure going to win the Super Bowl. Boy, please. Adam Thielen and, Ke and Travis Kelsey for Pat, my man, don't do that to that. You fucking shit up, man. That fucking shit up. Especially if you send him over there, hell no. Nah. Adam Thielen going to get over and all the goddamn time for Pat. No. No. Hell no. Not unless they coming off a second round. No, sir. I just wanted y'all to I just wanted y'all to know that that's that that's some real life shit being circulated around. Being circulated around right now. The Carolina Panthers have have in fact been offered something for Adam Thielen. Hey yeah, Daisy, you you must can't be a chief fan talking about you will give us Travis Kelsey for Adam Thielen. Shit, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I ain't entertaining that dumb shit. That's dumb shit. And Panther Prime say they just got McCole back as well. Nah, yeah, yeah, that's not a good deal right there. You send you send Thielen there. That's the yeah, that's yeah, well, you know. I mean, I'm sure Adam Thielen would like it. I'm sure he would. Hey, somebody, hey, Mr. Bombastic said, can everyone hear Unc or is it just me? Can y'all hear me? How's my audio? Somebody talk to me. Give me an audio check. Mic check. What I sound like. Mic check. Never mind. I'm good. I'm straight. Shout out Candy Girl. Say Unc sounds, say sound is good. Yeah, yeah, fact. Next up, I want to talk about, man. I want to talk about this, and then I'm going I'm to mention something else. Thomas Brown said in an interview today that Miles Sanders is his guy going forward. I'm going to repeat that. Thomas Brown said in an interview just today that Miles Sanders is, in fact, the guy going forward. Now, I want to say this, and then I'm going to ask y'all something. First off, when Thomas Brown said that, and if he if he in fact believes and stand on that, that Miles is the guy going for, then this is in fact Thomas Brown's first fucking mistake at, at, at offensive coordinator. This is it. This is in fact his first fucking mistake. You know, outside of, you know, not starting Andy Dalton weeks one and two, but he ain't had nothing to do with that. But this is his first fucking mistake while taking over as the sole controller of the offense if he, in fact, start Miles Sanders. I'm telling you now. Ain't nothing he can give you, dog. Ain't nothing that wide nose nigga can give you, dog. Told you he got a wide body kit on his fucking face. He got hips on his face. 
Shout out Miles Sanders. I would not go back with Miles as my starter. I actually like what Chuba and Blackshear look like. The combination is fresh, youthful. You know what I mean? More, more burst, more energetic movement. Miles Sanders. Shit. That nigga's like, that nigga's like a, a you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, I don't even want I don't even want to cat, categorize his ass. But I just don't. I'm just not feeling Miles Sanders. At first, I gave him I gave him a pass because he was new over here, and I thought he would be able to, you know, be some type of productive back. But he ain't. He don't contribute at all. Besides to the turnover margin, you feel? Me? Shout out Rockhead eighty one in the chat, my nigga Elaine. There he go again. That zero and seventeen shit. Now Elaine, you lucky. You lucky one, we on the bye this week, and two, I be at the game next week, so there ain't no watch party, so you spared. I said, yeah, yeah, Elaine, y'all, y'all lucky, y'all lucky, god damn it, but then, yeah, 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 never mind what Elaine talking about, never mind what Elaine talking about, at this point, now, now the real haters come out. The real hate starts now when the team is 0-5, 0-6. Here go the real goddamn hate. Now watch him. Watch him. The hate finna come extra heavy. Extra cheese and pepperoni on the hate, goddamn it. Shout out to everybody pulling up at the meet and greet. Again, deadline is uh Friday night. Friday night, 8 o'clock. You have not RSVP. We'll catch you on the motherfucking next one. Yeah, you know I mean. And then to everybody that has RSVP, stand by for time and location. God damn it, we finna pop it off. It's gonna be a fun Saturday evening. You feel? Me? Fun Saturday evening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God damn. Panther pausing on deck. A lot of y'all still say y'all can handle this shit. A lot of, hey, shout out to everybody that that's actually had the Panther pausing. They don't they don't say they can handle this shit. They don't they don't talk like that. They 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 tread lightly around that Panther pausing, and and as 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 and as wise as they are, they should. Shit, they got their Panther pause and get you by your balls, man. Shit. Keep fucking around. It, it will be on deck. I make it that's gonna be the, the featured drink out there at the at the goddamn. I make sure ain't nothing else out there. No beer, no fuck nothing. You ain't nobody running from the path of pause. Except for Donna B. She drink Henny. She don't, you know what I mean? Even she scared of the goddamn path of pause. So now nah, I'm gonna be able to drive. What? What? I'll go to sleep. I'm telling y'all now. I get in the passenger sleep, in the passenger seat, and I'm out. I'm lights out. No bullshit. Shout out to everybody pulling up to the meet and greet. Can't wait to get with y'all, man. Can't fucking wait. Yeah, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be an electric weekend. You know why? Because again, the city of Charlotte gonna be jumping. Texan fans gonna be crawling around that motherfucker. Carolina Panther fans should stand the fuck up. Charlotte should stand up that day. You know I mean, we should stand up that week. This should be a sellout game. This game should be sold out. I don't give a fuck if it's Panthers or or Prime. You know, you know, just just overwhelmed by Texan fans. I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm in the building. I told y'all, I don't lose. We don't lose when I'm in the building. Don't happen. Very rarely happens. It happened in Atlanta. That's some fluke shit. First off, couple fuck niggas a couple fuck niggas took me off my 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 original rhythm. You feel me? You hear me? Fuck niggas take you off your original rhythm. Nothing happens how it, how it's supposed to. But it's all right. It's all right. That shit won't happen again. I promise you. Back to the content. But he said this nigga Miles Sanders is, in fact, his league guy. First mistake from Thomas Brown as the as the takeover, as our offensive head uh, uh, coordinator. I think, I think, 
I think that's a major mistake. But I'll move on. And another thing come across my goddamn proverbial desk today. I had to run cross Panther Nation. Now, reading this shit about the young Caleb Williams, you know, Heisman Trophy winner. A lot of y'all got him regarded as the first overall pick in this, this upcoming draft. The Chicago Bears say they can't wait to draft him, right? Lo and behold, Caleb Williams put out a he put out a bold statement a couple days ago, a day ago. I don't know when he put it out, but it's recent. Bold fucking statement to any NFL franchise that choose to draft him. The young nigga came out on record and said. To whomever drafts him, he wants partial ownership in the fucking team. I said, this nigga here. I said, this nigga here. That motherfucker say, now, my shot. Now, hold on. Let me run that back by y'all. Shout out to everybody that's really in tune. Because this little nigga said to any motherfucking NFL franchise that shall call his name on draft night. Might as well have had the papers drawn up because he won't part on he won't part on the ship, goddammit, of the team that drafts him. First off in the chat, is the little nigga crazy? Yes or no? I gotta know. Is there, this is a yes or no question? Is the little nigga crazy or is the little nigga smart? Which one are y'all think? In the chat, go. Shout out my guy Jimmy Russo for this Sam Mutt membership, Jimmy. God. Damn, man, that, Jimmy, that's how long my membership's been running, man. Pull up, Jimmy, you had the meet and greet, right? Yeah, yeah, you had the meet and greet. Yeah, yeah, two Saturdays, October 28th, Jimmy. Man, goddamn it, Jimmy, free your schedule, baby. Come drink one with me. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring about, I'm gonna bring a big pan of goddamn poor poor. That's what we having out there, cause, cause a lot of people keep saying they want it. They got to have it, so I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring the entire set of enough pulled pork for everybody to eat till they sleep. You feel me? I'm bringing this shit with me. It's going to travel. I'm going I'm to I'm pack it. I'm going to pack it and bring it with me, God damn it. Sauce and all. Shout out to everybody pulling up to the meat and grit. If you don't eat pork, I, I told my guy Tola, because my guy told her the only one I don't know eat pork like that. I told him I'm going to have him a goddamn case of fried chicken, too. You know what I mean? Some of the best, goddamn. You know what I mean? And you know, the sides, too. You can't have chicken if you ain't got tater salad and some, some good old wine sweet rolls. I mean, we we eating, we eating liquor food, goddamn it. We eating green thing food out here in the meat and green. Shout out to everybody pulling up, goddamn it. I can't wait. I'm extra excited. Extra excited, man. Shout out uh, PPP say big fucking balls. What we talking about balls, dog? You talking about, uh, what we talking about? Shout out Antoine Lynch. What the hell going on? MLK, what popping in the chat? Jamari Mayfield, talk to me. We in the bit. I asked y'all, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we talking about. Little nigga got big balls. Have any of y'all seen this article? This little nigga, it's, it's, it's circulating now. This shit is out there. This shit got two legs and is running the four, the, the hundred yard dash right now. Shout out Jimmy saying, um, good, he say good deal. Hold on, hold on. Let me holler. I missed that Jimmy. Missed that Jimmy. Let me read that Jimmy. Shout out my guy Jimmy. Landon say drop the link. You wait your little ass right there. I hell, I ain't even been talking long enough, young lad. Jimmy say it um good deal. You say I'm gonna be free. Need that info coming. He say come fuck with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure excited. Yeah, yeah. It's going down, man. He, oh, Jimmy, I call you. I will indeed. Make sure you got all the info, Jimmy. That Friday. <clears throat> Make no mistake. Shout out my guy Jimmy Russo. Shout out my guy Nick Short. He pulling up out there. Nick Short was live as hell. Shout out Nick Short pulling up on us at the next meet and greet. Shout out my guy Tola. Shout out Donna B. Shout out Candy Girl. Man, I can go on and on. We lit out there, motherfucker, man. We lit out there. I might do something special, man. 
I'm gonna get with my nigga Big Cat here here within a day or two. We might do something fucking special for one of y'all. For one of y'all. I mean, maybe, maybe a lucky one of y'all. I don't know. I gotta get with my nigga Big Cat. We gotta discuss a couple things, but I I feel like I wanna do something. Anyway, you feel what I'm saying for at least one of y'all. So shout out, shout out one of y'all in the chat, goddamn it. Yeah, it may somebody, somebody finna get right. Shout out Antoine Lynch. Shout out Mr. Boom Bostic. God damn it, please, so Gotti the God. My guy waking it, bitch. Say you said it right. Wink, you ain't gonna even be at the game, you old blockhead ass nigga. Shout out Wink, man. Wink, wink, you all right, you all right, nigga. Hey, me, you all right. You all right. Oh, we, we might, we might, they might fuck around and line y'all up next year in Houston. If they do, Wink, look, 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 Wink, shout out my guy, Wink. Shout out every fucking Houston Texan fan in the chat. And I'm putting, I'm putting my, I'm standing on this right now. I'm writing it down in my goddamn book, my book right here, right now. Carolina Panthers play the Houston, Texas in Houston. I'm I'm there, nigga. On the fucking field. In y'all city. In y'all stadium. I'm come fuck y'all city up uh, for a whole goddamn weekend. Whole weekend, I'm a fuck y'all city up. Shout out to Houston, Texas. Shout out to city of Houston. The NFL schedule us next year. I'll be there. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'll be there. Hold on. Shut up. Shout out Donna B for that super chat. Say a table full. She said, she say a tablespoon of pool. God damn, Donna B. Nah, don't do them like that. Hey, Donna B serious, dog. She only gonna let y'all have a tablespoon for some reason. I don't know what the hell. Donna B crazy as hell. She don't she can't eat all that shit. I know she don't. Shout out my guy, rebellious kicks. Nigga, where the fuck you been at, man? Shout out rebellious kicks, nigga. Where you been at, man? He say, oh, don't, nah, nigga, what? No, don't shout you. Ah, huh? Okay, then. Shout out rebellious kicks. My nigga, my nigga trying to hurt my feelings and shit. Nigga trying to hurt my feelings. Rebellious, you know goddamn well if I see you in the chat, nigga, I'm going to shout you. Stop playing. Stop playing, nigga. Get, shout out my guy, Rebellious Kicks, man. Y'all know what time it is. Hey, hey, look, back to the content. I asked y'all what y'all thought about young Caleb Williams telling any NFL franchise that draft him they might as well pull out the ownership paper. He won't part of the tape. I don't, I don't know if, if that's smart or just dumb as fuck. Because for one... <sighs> Look at the conundrum he puts on ownership. Okay, so 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 say a team like Chicago does want to draft them, right? Ownership say this little nigga won't part of the team. So when it let's say it comes to a negotiation point, and the owner the ownership say, okay, Caleb, we give you part of the team, but we give you two percent or one or or point five percent. A, a very small percentage, which is very my fucking nude in the in the large scheme of things. Would 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 Caleb feel disrespected? And would he what not want one go to the place that draft him or two? To, I, I mean, what the fuck are we gonna do here, nigga? Because for one, for one, I don't think he's that damn good. I mean, I mean, y'all, y'all, I mean, he's not. He's not a generational talent, but I think that nigga, that nigga like six one, six foot one, two two hundred and fifteen pounds, and you getting two inches over Bryce Young, huh? Two inches and about what ten pounds? And y'all say y'all say yeah, he'll translate to the next level. We talking about he's six one, six foot one. That's that's still small as a quarterback in the NFL, guys. Six foot one, guys.
I wouldn't draft him and no, not not if he thinking I'm finna give a piece of this team. I'm I'm gonna say, bitch, I'll I'll put it in the contract as a uh, you know an incentive. Let's say let's say okay, nigga, you you holler whoever draft you got to put some some ownership in it. Okay, then I'll put it in there as an incentive base. You, you, you as a rookie must reach the goddamn NFC, or let's say, what if it's NFC, AFC, the divisional fucking round, not just one win in the playoffs, goddammit, the, the, the divisional round, you must reach, and you must win. You must win a divisional round playoff game. That's, that's the only way you're going to reach that incentive, and I keep it that way every year. I keep that as an incentive every year, bitch. We go into it every year. Yeah, that way you ain't gotta ask me shit. You ain't gotta ask me nothing. Year in, year out. Did you hit that incentive yet, nigga? Oh, oh, oh. We, we. Oh, okay, then. And even, even if he hits that incentive, the stake in, in my team would be very fucking small. Something like five percent, three, three to five percent. Nah, fuck it, two to five. Yeah, we we started too, nigga. I negotiate. I I go up as high as five, but I'm gonna try to close you around three, three and a half. Shit, fuck all that. I mean, it's, it's a it's a it's a risky it's a it's a risky big bald all uh ask of Caleb. You know what I mean to say or state? But the little nigga saying he's serious and he's serious about his paper. If this is a fact. If this is in fact the way he's gonna come at this shit or approach these these future organizations that's gonna draft that little nigga. Shit, hell I'm nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I mean, who is he? Who the fuck is he? First off, nigga, who the fuck who who the fuck does Caleb Williams think he is? Who the fuck do he think he is? I mean, really. Shout out, Trucker. What's poppin'? Trucker, yeah, yeah, I know. It. I'm trying to tell you, nigga. I don't think he that nice. I, I mean, I've been, and look, I promised myself I wouldn't sleep on these fucking collegiate quarterbacks like I did CJ and Bryce. But, and, and all that did was put me on these niggas the way I, I shouldn't be, because well, I mean, he can make he can make every throw, little nigga accurate. But at the next level, his size, if y'all want to allude to Bryce size, may be a problem as well. He ain't that fucking big, guys. He ain't that big. He's a, he's a, he got he got more athleticism than young Bryce. I will say that shit. But Thomas Brown also said he's gonna ask or try to try to bring out more of Bryce Young's athleticism in the play calling. So I don't know what we about to see, guys. I don't know what we about to I don't know what, what we about to see. Thomas Brown solidifying Miles Sanders as the starting back once we come back. I mean, I wouldn't have said shit if I'm Thomas Brown. I'll say, I'll say, I would have said something like, oh, Oh yeah, Chuba, Chuba and Thomas, they, they'll share, they'll share this, they'll share the snaps. That's what I say. I they'll share the snaps, and depending on who got the better flow early in the game, we'll see the bulk of the snaps for the rest of the game. Now how the fuck I approach it. Shout out these dumb ass coaches, these soft ass coaches, scared to say what need be said. That's what it is. The fucking coaches scared to say what they need to say. Don't worry about it. I will be defensive coordinator in Carolina in the next 10 years. After after we get after we get that motherfucker tip up out of there. I already got a few people. I got a few people on a on the legal side of things already looking into what it may cost to move him. You know what I mean? I, I got I got I already got the ball moving. The ball is moving. Y'all thought I would play it. It's go it's gonna cost some money to get Tepper the fuck up out of there. It's going to cost some. Make no mistake about that. And I'm already on the goddamn job. Shit. I, hey, hey, I, 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 I might be able to do it by myself. Sorry ass motherfucker, man. I can't stand it. Hey, look. Real quick before I move on. Real quick before I move on. 
Shout out to everybody in the chat. Now, I did a live yesterday about CJ and, and, and Bryce comparison. Lo and behold, I wake the fuck up. And, the it, it, you know, it's an article out about the same shit. I think Sports Illustrated, somebody did it. Some major media outlet did it after I dropped the fucking content. Saying pretty much the same shit. Now, what I will say is this. Now, I, I shouldn't have to say nothing else after yesterday. I made myself fucking clear when it comes to C.J. Stroud versus Bryce fucking Young. It ain't none. It ain't no comparison. There is no comparison. CJ's up here, Bryce down there. That's that's it. It's it's two different tiers. It's his first class as coach. God damn it. You hear me? That's what it is. It's first class and coach. To 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 make it basic, to put it in layman terms. God damn it. It's it's row one or the five hundred section. You feel what I'm saying? You you feel what I'm saying? Row one. Or the 500 section. Wait one. My bad about that. Hey, link in the chat. Somebody pull up on me, holler at me for a few minutes. Somebody talk. Come let me know how you feel about Chin being out for six weeks. Do it hurt us? Do it hurt us at all? Somebody let me know how they feel about Thomas Brown saying Miles Sanders is the guy moving fucking forward. Somebody let me know how they feel about Thomas Brown saying the play calling is going to bring out Bryce athleticism more. Somebody let me know what they think about Caleb Dixon, black ass, saying if you got them draft me, better pull out some ownership papers. He want ownership in whoever or in whatever franchise they draft. draft it. Somebody pull up on me. Link in the goddamn chat, man. Step on that like button. Subscribe if you new over here, man. Don't, don't. God damn it, young Landon. Young Landon, no. Get back in the chat, man. Get back in the chat, dog. You, I mean, you can't pull up over here one day telling us you, you got to leave and can't come back because you was caught and then come back the next day. You can't do that shit, man. Stay in the chat, Landon. Wink, what's up, nigga? What up? What's good? Talk to me. Yeah, um, I mean, Caleb Williams, bro, I mean, he on whatever you was on when you said the Panthers was winning 20, 12 games. I mean, whatever you was on, that's exactly what he was on. You know what I'm saying? But um, he ain't even that live to even be. Bro, I mean, maybe Tipper might have went for it if he didn't get Bryce, but I mean, who's to say what any of these fucking idiots are gonna do just so they can win? You know what I'm saying? At least for a little while, because that ain't no long term answer. But I but I seen that shit though, bro. Ain't nobody going for that. Him and his daddy been talking way too much because his daddy been putting out reports talking about, yeah, um, Depending on the team, he, he think he's going to be able to do some shit like how Eli did when he came into the league. And I don't know um, where he – I I don't know what makes him think he's that fucking good, bro. Like, I done seen this bitch lose to Utah and Tulane. And and <laughs> he can, he ain't going to beat Washington when they when he got to see Michael Phoenix Jr. He ain't going to beat him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to beat Oregon either. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know where he getting all this. Like, he just this fucking wrong. Cause, and they just put gen that word generational talent on anybody nowadays. Like, they just they just label anybody with that shit. It is what it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the little nigga say he won't own this shit though, Wink. What you think about it? Deshaun, what what's pop? What make you think what's that these motherfuckers that been hedge fund managers, these motherfuckers that done real shit in the world? And he's just a young 21-year-old athlete 
is going to come to the league and own any any goddamn thing except the French manicure set. Like he tripping, bro. Like he he, he out of there, bro. The boy running around with French tip nails, and we supposed to take you serious, bro? Like get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> who who got French tip nail? Bro, you don't know. Oh, he a fingernail painter. You didn't know? Oh no. yeah, he painted his fingernails. Yeah. Nah, that's a legend. That's a legend. No, it ain't no legend. It ain't no. It ain't no damn a legend. What you talking about? I'm gonna put that out. Yeah. You just don't know. Just because you don't know, don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah. Don't Shout know. out, my he guy. What, what you talking about? Wake, elaborate. What you saw? Bro, the motherfuckers out here with painted fingernails, just like I said, these little young weirdos, these motherfuckers, twenty five and under, what they, whatever they on, whatever they on, is, is doing, that a, is that a fact, Wink? Bro, bro, I, all right, bro, I, I ain't gonna waste my time, bro. Don't even yeah, God, I didn't know, I didn't know that, dog. I didn't know that. I wouldn't even have said that. I wouldn't even have said that, bro. I, how, how do you just make up a man wearing wearing nails, bro, and painting his nails, bro? No, nah, he actually did what, that. that nigga be, hey, he be painted up he on did that that shit. Believe me, Jay, don't no, believe yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, he did that. It, it, it said fuck another team. It said fuck another team. Yeah, he actually did that on game day. Yeah, he did that. Bro, oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, I'll, I'll give fuck, I don't give a fuck how you explain that. <laughs> you you fact, sat that down, fact. you sat down with fingernail polish, nigga. Yeah, yeah well, that's hey, right. The Wizard Cats fan over there. There was no Tetsu fan. What the heck you talking about? What? I said you were the was no oh, Tetsu no, fan. Oh, Landon, bro. Landon, what did you not it, hear bro. me it's say? Not. Hold on, let me talk to Landon. Landon, you <laughs> get you can't keep hitting the link. You got to stay in the chat, young man. I'm I see you in the chat. I'm go shout you out. You can't keep hitting this damn link. Try and pull up on the on the panel. You got to stop that, Landon. You're too young. Last time, I'm going to tell you, man. Didn't you just tell us your mama caught you in your phone and she smacked the shit out you? Didn't yeah, you lie about it just right yesterday? And he think he, he, just say, he, think, he think we didn't hear him lie the other day when he said when you were next to him, was he supposed to be on here? And then he tried, yeah, no. He, he really told on himself and then he tried to cover it up. Yeah, we, we know what's the plan. We know you want to be over here. That's cool, but you're still a child and you got to stay in a child's place. It's only what's good for you, bro. I, 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 I mean, Landon, I make the I make the platform not for children. So right. either you lie, you lied to YouTube about your age any goddamn one. Right. Mm -hmm. Man, you are you low landed landing. Get in the chat, baby boy. We everybody in the chat loves you, man. We love you over here. Stay in the yeah. chat. Yeah, Landon, you like Bryce Young. You need a good time to grow, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, hey, bro. You can't even. You probably ain't got no hand in this, bro. Like, it's, it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I, I ain't worried about his little genitals or nothing, dog. Y'all leave his genitals out this shit. <laughs> we go on somewhere, man. Let the grown y'all leave y'all leave it leave that shit out of here. I'm just I'm just trying to let him know that that, that this platform is for 18 and up. God damn it, 18 plus. Yeah, and I, I mean I I I, if, I look YouTube expect me to goddamn follow at least that guideline, Landon. I tell you every time you pull up on my goddamn panel, I get a yellow check. You ain't paying. You don't you don't support the platform, little daddy. Your money you ain't got no money. Hear me? I let you up to show you love, man. Stay in the chat. Damn. Hey, um. Yeah, yeah, BJ. What's up, baby? Yeah, uh, um, what you were saying about uh your boy Caleb Williams? Okay, he he put fuck Utah for the Pac-12 championship last year, and he lost forty-seven twenty-four. Yeah, and he say his mama always did his nails. So you take what you. Want with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And fact. Shout out, shout out, my guy, Supreme Science. Say, pardon me for cut, man. You can cuss in this chat. This is this is a this is an uh, adult fucking panel. This is adult page. We cuss over here. We oh. smoke over here. We talk sex, money, drugs. <laughs> That's what we do. This is adult. Bite city. Bite city. Oh, Where are you having the next? We talk. We talk sports. We do it all over here. This is oh, real yeah, life, yeah. man. When you having that next meet and greet? Oh, that's that man. Look what the fuck, dog. 
<laughs> October 28th, the CJ Stroud game. Uh, we, 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 I'm in Charlotte the whole weekend. We jumping that off this Saturday evening, dog. Saturday <laughs> evening. He couldn't I'm believe you asked him, man. I couldn't even believe you asked him, man. He was so yeah, disappointed in you, bro. Hey, I, just, I just got in the chat. <laughs> Don't worry the, the, about this, it, bro. The disappointment in your voice, bro, was just. Hey, hey, no, no, we lit though. We, hey, we all, hey, look, I'm, I'm, cl- I'm oh, capping man. it off. I'm man. capping that bitch off Friday night, eight o'clock. So if y'all ain't RSVP, you ain't gonna get the location. I'm telling oh, you that. Right. Hey, 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 but what happened to what happened to what happened to Jeremy Chin though? What the fuck happened to him? A fucking quad injury, dog. A the same thing injury. from last year. What he he tore a muscle or he got like a bruise or something? Man, I I they they <laughs> they, they, they ain't really put out the specifics, but all they saying no. is six weeks. Six weeks. What? He six might as well weeks? be on injury reserve, man. Hey, we should have got rid of him last week. Like we should have. We should have got rid of him last week, bro. Hey, I hey look, the, the point up. is, look, I've been I've been digging all day, nigga, and, and nobody's saying nothing. I think he did it in practice. Wow. Hey, oh, for my $50, I get a plus one. Yeah, 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 nigga. Guaranteed. Bring who you talking? Who you talking? It don't matter who you talking, you can bring a plus one. Yeah, that's my wife, man. It's, it's my oh, hell yeah. Bring it through, nigga. It's going to be women there. It's going to be women there. Yeah, you, All right. I'll hit you up. Hey, look. Yeah, just send, send it to the cash app with your direct phone number in the description, my dude, so I can link with you. That shit crazy, bro. Hey, hey y'all. I hope y'all eat pork, man. If not, it's going to be chicken for y'all. Shit, I'ma eat. I'ma eat a little bit of both pork and the chicken, nigga. Shit, I'ma be drinking. I'ma be smoking. You feel? <laughs> Donna B with the with that with the dark with the dark hey. liquor. Oh, oh, Donna B play no games, dog. I might, I might see if she, hey, she bought some ribs to the last dog, nigga. Them motherfuckers will smack. <laughs> Some old big motherfucker. Look like some dino bones. You feel? Damn. Yeah, Donna, Donna, I think she bought, she bought, she she came through the last meet and greet with more ribs than her own body weight, dog. She had, I think she had about 200 pounds. 200 pounds? God, yeah, yeah, we had about 200 pounds worth. It felt like 200 pounds. It's heavy duty. Hell I, hell, I bought about 80 pounds back to the house. Nigga, I was eating ribs for a week. <laughs> yeah, see, see, ribs are some of my favorite yeah. shit, nigga. I, if, if it's a good rib, I'm a, I'm gonna sit right there. You know what well, I mean? You should have had, no, no. had to worry about taking shit to work. You already had that on. Yeah, you had to go right there, boy. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that shit went straight to work, nigga. You, you take you some light bl- uh light bread with some ribs, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. and it's smelling all through the place. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know what time it is. Shout out Donna B. Donna B show big love, man. I can't wait to late, man. I ain't seen Donna B since Atlanta. You know what I mean? Shit, I ain't seen Big Cat since Atlanta. Me and Big Cat getting smoked out. We gonna smoke out. Me and, hey, I make sure we smoke out, smoke out. I'm gonna blow that nigga head off this time. I thought you did it last time. You didn't get him. Yeah, yeah, man. I last always time? blow that nigga back. I always blow that nigga. Oh yeah, back. you did say that shit. Yeah, yeah that nigga said something. I would be. Hey, y'all should see that nigga. Oh, I blow that nigga back eight times. I remember that. He did say that shit. He was fucked up. Somebody went to CBS or some crazy shit. Yeah. Say yeah, big cat. Yeah, that's my nigga, dog. Yeah, man, that's my nigga. We go, we go eat good. We go smoke good, drink good. Shit, y'all and y'all y'all know what happened after that, goddamn it. Shit. <laughs> Shout out my guy Young Landon. That nigga's hard headed. So let, let me ask y'all something. Jeremy Chin gone for six weeks. Does it hurt us? Yeah, I mean, does it? <laughs> How he been yeah. playing for y'all this year? He's been playing pretty good from what I heard. Yeah, he was. Nigga solid. He was solid. What's 
What just fucked up, man? Can these niggas getting hurt in practice, dog? You know what I mean? It's too many injuries going on around here. Or so are now they? I gotta look. I gotta look. So somebody ain't doing something right. Or I don't are know they hurt going around the league, bro? I'm gonna play the conspiracy league, bro, Are injury. they hurt for real? Man, they hurt, bro. Like <laughs> nothing's do be hurt, but like, bro. Uh, but it, some yeah, yeah, yeah. money, money, two K, money, two K said live good too. Oh, now nah, I was gonna say after all that, me and my wife gonna fuck good. God damn it, yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to end. That's the end of the saying. Drink good, eat good, then go to the crib and, or to the room and bust our ass down. Y'all gotta stop playing. <laughs> Shout out everybody in the chat. Don't know what type time I be on. Oh, yeah, damn, man. Damn. You was real direct with that one. Yeah, I mean that's how it go down. I mean, if you hey, you, if, you, if you own a hunt, if you a single nigga, that's what you supposed to be hunting for. If you a married man, you she should already know what what type time you on. You know what I mean? Yeah, Fuck around, follow my wife to the goddamn woman's bath though. Think I want? Mm. Follow her what ass you know? right up in that motherfucker. What you know about that, boy? That spontaneous shit, boy. Oh, nigga, hey. Ain't no such <laughs> thing. Ain't no, ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing with me, goddamn. Out the blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, stop playing. Stop playing, goddamn. Now, Thomas oh, Brown hey, say Miles my... Sanders the lead guy, goddamn it. What y'all say about that? Wow. Oh, some old company man bullshit. Hey, what you, hey, what you call it? That's some company man bullshit. Yes, sir, Mister Temple. Whatever you want, I'm gonna do. That's what that is. You gonna stay in the good grace? I don't understand it. Charles can see that. If you're a running back coach and don't see that, boy, you are you are you a company man. That's all it is. It's got to be something, dog. It's got to be something. Either, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you're gonna play Miles if he's healthy. It, it's Jason, yeah, Jason, that was a bad. That was a bad pickup. Bad pickup. Is J oh. is Jason is JC gonna be back for the game? Or no? Mm. Yeah, I I, I ain't heard, heard nothing either. yet. I I guess we will have to wait till next week to hear. We we have to wait the next week to hear that shit. Damn, and nobody say nobody said nothing. Hell, latest news is just Jeremy Chin shit just popped out. You know what I mean? Just out of oh. nowhere. What's today? Wednesday day. Yeah, God damn yeah, Wednesday this, yeah. practice. Wednesday yeah, practice. Yeah. This I, nigga I getting it. hurt. I seen it in our Discord like a couple of hours ago. I was like, oh. Yeah, man, this man, shit just popped out not too long ago. We, I mean, God damn. Yo, I, seen it. I, seen, I seen it when you seen it. It's, 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 it's crazy, bro. It's too many people getting injured, bro. Shout yeah, out my guy, up. Eternal25. Uh, say, um, get you some poor turkey barbecue. I I, I hate turkey. I, I, don't, I don't like uh, turkey legs, dog. What? No, pool, I, I pool, like them. Pool, I like them pool. motherfuckers on Thanksgiving. Now, if I if I slow roast my bread overnight for twelve hours and get up and pull that, just you know, snatch the bone right off the top, I eat that motherfucker. But uh, I, I don't like underrated. just no dry it's ass overrated. turkey wing or dry ass turkey. 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 But pull turkey, yeah, yeah, turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come overrated. on, get you some smoked turkey leg. That shit ain't no good, man. Oh, Shout oh, out John B. Say crib dollar holla. I don't like no smoked turkey goddamn leg. That shit ain't no good. Wow. Shout out <laughs> little old block. What up, little old block? You said what's up, little old block? What's up, man? What's How you feel? Up, man? What's up, bro? I said, what y'all talking about up here, man? What we talking about? Uh huh. I just I just <laughs> tuned in, man. He you said smoke turkey leg. <laughs> Am I Panthers? I used I live I live in Spartanburg, but I don't know, man. Uh yeah. Oh, oh shit! You done gave know. up on the Panthers, nigga. I'm gonna say I don't nah. know. That's real. Uh, I don't blame you. I said it's real. I don't blame you, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, so look, old block. You are you are you subscribed to this channel, nigga? <laughs> I mean, you no. Just, you just put him in the back. How can he answer? Yeah, he dry. Yeah, he jumped out. Yeah, pull up on my shit. Talking about what y'all talking about, nigga. Quit disrespecting me, you lemon head ass nigga. If you, if you don't know what the platform's about, don't even know what we talking about. Nigga, just see a chat. Nigga, see a chat jumping. He won't jump in. You keep your lemon head ass over there somewhere. 
I'm going to start blocking this silly shit, man. This stupid shit. Hey, what y'all talking about? Nigga, we talking about your motherfucking mama, nigga. Oh, that's what we doing. Oh, hey, see that, that? That shit pisses me off. Yeah, pull up in my backstage. Look, a lot of these niggas, a lot of these niggas hitting my link right now, and I don't know you. Shout out HBC Banks, man. I don't know you, nigga. I don't know you. You had to cash at me or something. I can't trust. Half y'all niggas looking like trolls right now. I don't know who you are, HC Banks. You ain't uh, HBC Banks. You ain't no mod. You ain't a member. I ain't never seen you in the chat, dog. Damn, that man done fucked it up for everybody. Yeah, oh, mama, yeah, man. he's fucking it up, dog. Shit, hell, hell, because now you know these niggas tripping. Shout, yeah, I'm about yeah, little, little little old block in my back. I'm about to kick your ass out the backstage, and I'm about to kick your homeboy out the backstage. I thank y'all to fucking go. Man, I was hoping you would have been like, I was hoping you was gonna be able to live stream the damn game, bro. Because you gonna be at the game, so I don't expect you to live stream. I was, I yeah, 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 your yeah, reaction yeah. live. <laughs> I want to see damn. that. I don't want to see that. I got to hear that. I, I, bet, I bet you do, nigga. I bet you yeah. do. You should have been at the game. You should have bought a ticket, goddamn. I told you. I got more pressing news, bro. Hey, wait. Let me ask you something. Bro. Hey, wait. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Straight up. What are, what are you talking, what are let's, say, let's say a ticket presents itself, right? Uh-huh. Would you go? Of course I would. I mean... Of course, I would. I mean, no, 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 bullshit me, nigga. I'm, I'm trying to ask you something straight up. If, if, if a ticket presents itself, would you do what you got to do to make it? Absolutely. Okay. Uh oh. Absolutely. Right, yeah, I'm just trying right, to find man. out what niggas is at because I'm about to do something for somebody. I, <laughs> yeah. we, I'm already at the game. I'm but matter of fact, hey, look. I got to make a move right now. I'm getting a text message coming in right now on my phone. Shout out yeah. to everybody in the chat, man. Well, look, we be right back tomorrow. I ain't going to run another one tonight, but we be back tomorrow. That's my word. I got to make a move. Shout out my guy, DJ. Shout out my guy, Wink. Shout out my guy, hey, HVC Banks. If, if you if you true, hey, pull up on the next live. I let you up on the next live. I see your name, my nigga. I don't trust you today, though. Pull up on the next live. Shout out BJ for pulling up. Shout out everybody in the chat. Shout out everybody show love via Super Chat. Let me see if I missed the cash out. Now, shout out everybody show love via Super Chat, man. Y'all know I appreciate the love. Shout out Wink, man. I appreciate you, my G. Hey, we'll be right back tomorrow, man. I got yeah, a big hey, block hey. real quick. Hey, 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 I'm gonna shoot you an email, bro, with some information, bro. Uh, so we can chop it up when you get it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you do that, Wink. Let yeah, me know, I'll, my G. I'll shoot you an email. Be on the lookout for your email in the next two minutes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, one love to Wink, man. Yeah, one yeah. love to the chat, baby. We gone.